another day. We're in another garage right here. You join us on the second day of the Italian tour road trip thing that we're doing. If you're not subscribed, then why don't you hit that little subscribe button. And if you haven't seen yesterday's video, then it's gonna pop up somewhere. You ready for a startup? Oh yeah. If you didn't see yesterday's video, then let me just recap briefly. I'm currently in Rome, Italy. Myself and a friend of mine are taking this Ferrari California over the next few weeks all around the country. TDF blue, absolutely gorgeous. Today we are heading to Florence, but we're not taking the motorway. We have pinpointed what look like some cool roads on the map and we're heading there. First mission of the day is gonna be packing up the car because we have a lot of bags, but the California is fairly practical. So we're gonna use all of the boot spades and the rear seats. Here are the bags, and there are quite a few of them. I reckon we take the big ones in first. Ow. So in the end, we are actually gonna leave this down, so that if ever we do wanna take the roof up later, roof down, sorry, later, we can do that. We've got one little backpack back there, and then my massive douche bag there. And that's gone down, and now the rest goes in the back seats. Everything is in. We've got all the bags in the back seats. This is why this car is so practical. We have only the deflector left. Here we've got the head mount, the selfie stick. It's perfect for cameras. I got a little GoPro hidden back here so I can access it easily from the passenger seat when I'm not driving. And the last piece goes in. Yeah, that fits right behind the seat. Up my laptop. Thank you. Off we go. We've got about a six hour drive ahead of us. The weather's taking a turn for the worst. As you can tell, I have headphones on. That is because I am editing in the passenger seat right now the first two hours of today are motorway before we hop off the motorway and try and find some absolutely stunning roads. The only problem is this. This is the issue. Rain. We can't take the roof off and we can't enjoy these amazing roads if it's raining. So hopefully Mother Nature is going to be on our sides and sort itself out. I've just popped up from my screen and look at how beautiful it is around us right now. We're gonna stop somewhere, one for the toilet, two for lunch. This is stunning, all these old ancient walls. As you know, we're driving from Rome to Florence, but we decided to go via Siena. Driver here <laughs> thinks it's a fantastic idea, and he knows Italy like the back of his hand, so I am trusting him with everything, and I am so look far very impressed, wow. Is that like some old castle up there? That's the old town in Siena. That's the, oh wow. That's where we're going for lunch. Wow! I don't know what happened to my voice there. What? I feel like I'm driving into a temple or something. Wow. See why we're calling this the Viva Italia tour? Because this country is just amazing. Doesn't strike me as the easiest place to park though in the world, Siena. Beautiful, but tricky to park it. Zona Trafico Limitato. My fluent Italian tells me that that means zone of limited traffic. <laughs> Which, is smart. <laughs> yeah. which could be either we means we can't go in there or it means there's not much traffic which is brilliant news also that guy just there just took the last parking space get us dirty found parking <coughs> <coughs> it nearly kills me i was so excited how do we pay this parking now Ah, oh, they take cars. Oh, oh they yes. are legends. This place is so beautiful i think there's only one thing to do and that's a cheeky montage <laughs> Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Exploration has gone very well. We're in the main piazza square of Siena, and I mean, look at this, guys. This is ridiculous. This place is so beautiful. This country, you just need to dig a little, tiny little bit, and you find these amazing little places. And apparently, there's this horse race, this very famous horse race, which goes on here. And now, it's time to indulge in some fresh Italian food. Is this being approved by the Italian? Yeah, the most Italian menu I've ever come across. Ooh, ooh, cheeky. <coughs> yes, yes, yes. Currently, as you know, we're in Siena, Tuscany, and the roads around here are amazing. So the plan was to basically find somewhere, we're about an hour and a half from Florence now, our final destination. Find somewhere literally by just looking on Google Maps, find a road, and then pinpoint that and drive there and see the amazing roads. However, we're not gonna be able to blast on those because it's so wet. So we're just gonna go cruise, spontaneous, see where the day takes us. We're lucky enough to be doing this in a Ferrari, which is amazing, but there are always things you can't predict, like in this case, the weather. So maybe show you a slightly less glamorous side of what a road trip can be like and the things that you can't plan when they go wrong. 
they go wrong. There's not much you can do about it, but we're gonna see if we can make the most of this day and try and discover some beautiful areas in Tuscany. Bye Sienna, you've been lovely. That pizza was fantastic, but wow, what a beautiful place. If ever you guys are in the area, please come visit here. Oh, he's consider oh, he's doing it, he's doing it, frozen yogurt. You excited? <laughs> you are a savage. Look at the smoke coming out of that car. That is ridiculous. Ooh, okay, so we need to decide where we're going now. It has to be on the way to Florence. It has to be on the way to Florence and it needs to be a twisty looking road. Here's another little road trip tip. When you park like this, we have to put all our valuables in the back and we just put our clothes here so that if ever stuff gets stolen from the back seat, it's just clothes and not camera gear. We're here. Yeah. We need to get to Florence and this is motorway. But if we deroute here towards Cer Certaldo, yeah. It looks like there's a bit of a messy road action around here. Yeah. And then we can kind of get lost around here. Yeah. And when we're done from here, we just we go just back go on straight. the auto route and go back to Florence. Sounds like a plan. Okay, let's put that in and then take it from there. Okay. It's going to be roof up for this one though because of the weather. It's very dirty rain as well, so the car's filthy now, but you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. So I put two stops. Yeah, okay. So we go towards Empoli. It's a total of two hours. Another two hours drive and it's in the middle of every... It's in the middle of nowhere pretty much. Oh, let's yeah. start her up. We're starting on motorway. That doesn't mean we can't have fun though. about this one I don't uh, not this one I think there's a castle this way so we could go should we drive in oh this yeah. yeah I see that it looks, that looks cool no? okay go here let's go in that direction. might as well let's see see where the wind takes us what is this every place is just gorgeous well I don't even know what this place is called I wish I could tell you but uh, we have no clue really where we are this is just a spontaneous little drive is that a viewpoint what what? Should we stop and look at the view? Yeah. Let's do it. Somewhat acceptable parking. This view is insane. So this is Tuscany. This is what I've seen on all like sort of the posters about Tuscany and stuff. Wow, wow, wow. With the weather, but... Yeah, yeah, we are unfortunate with the weather, but you can't have everything. Two week road trip, we were bound to have a day where it wasn't good weather, but man, this is insane. And look behind me right there, city walls. Wow. We should really find out what this place is called. We've got a map. Well, where are we now? Here. Probably no, somewhere. we're not in Canterbury. No. No, we must be There's somewhere Luca. around Luca. Siena, Luca, close to that Between sort of area. Between Siena and Luca, yeah. Ah, San Gimignano. There we go. San Gimignano. San there we go. So now you know. It's called San Come Gimignano. San Gimignano. <laughs> yeah. God, that was the best turn we ever took. Oh, look at that. What is this? Is this the greatest place on earth? Uh, right or left? I say right. Yeah, I think let's go right. Seems like the right decision. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
This is honestly one of the best days I've ever had filming cars and I've been doing this for eight years. Look at this behind me, it's gorgeous, it's a perfect temperature. We're here, we're able to just sort of relax, properly enjoy the scenery, it's just amazing. These people are probably like, who is that weirdo filming himself? That's me, my name is Sam. This is just unbelievable. Honestly think that this has to be the best country to do road trips in. There's so much variation in the scenery. Here comes the Ferrari. Driving responsibly as always <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I just wanted to stop off here to tell you guys that this is brilliant and thank you for watching And if you haven't already, please subscribe if you want to see more of this because we're only on day two of a two-week adventure And we have some big big things planned